<laughs> oh my gosh. What is up with it. this? What? What is up with that mustache, first of all? No, that's, that's, what? that's my first comment. Sexy. <laughs> is it? You don't though? think so? You don't think so? Well, you moved to Italy and all of a sudden mustaches aren't sexy? But like it's I'm weird, not... like it's coming below the lip, bro. You need to shave it. Yeah, it's it's like, like it needs to be just a mustache, not like a I'm trying to grow like into a, a beard. Wait, give, give me a look at the hair though, real quick. Mm, no, grow out face. We're in a grow out okay. face. Okay. Okay. But what are you going for? For the fans. For, bro, for, for the fans. Back, yeah, back for the fans. It's your comeback, bro. Come on. Yeah, it is. Come the on. But you know they understand it's bro, it's, Judd, it, they understand. It, uh, going back to the way, bro. It is not terrible. <laughs> it's not terrible give me give me two more months it'll be back to his glory what are you going for though back to what i had the long long hair like flow like down yeah here. flow yeah like mullet like, or just, just complete full flow like all all through i'm thinking complete flow to start out with and then i can just play with it you know let's you take me? a moment and appreciate that judd is doing this in his locker right now yeah, I am doing this at, at SMU. What a yeah. legend, huh? That's dedication. I, uh, I needed a What class did you just place. get out of? What class did uh, you just fourth, get out of? Fourth Amendment criminal procedure. What are you studying again? Uh, political science. Political science. Okay, okay. So uh, I might be president of the United States one day. Just saying. Let's, let's hope not, brother. welcome back judd thank you about time you took the snooze out looking good um quit dip did you did. did you actually though no I it's didn't. like it's the same thing it's just in a package because i got a girlfriend now and she don't like it oh you do snooze uh no. She'll be like <laughs> <laughs> Which one among you is the greatest of the weed smokers? Who is the most powerful weed smoker among the three of you? We don't smoke weed. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Jess and Burge is back. Tanner's back, obviously. Me and Tanner have been, you know, putting the city on our shoulders, putting jumps out on our shoulders. You know how it is. But make sure to like, share, and subscribe. How many likes do we want for, for Judd Beck? 50 likes? Should we? 75 I likes? I think 500 is is appropriate. 500 views, 50 likes. Let's get it. Let's wow. get it. I like that. I like that. Small. Oh, it's like 350 small. subscribers. We're going to 400. Oh, I know we're, we're powering huge. through. We're powering through. At 500 subscribers, so I'm flying out to Italy and Germany and doing a world tour. Bro, once we can do this and like in person type stuff, that would be like next level. But everyone's hopping on the podcast wave now. Deshaun Jackson actually just signed a Believe. Did you see that? He's part yeah, of the Believe Network that. also. So um, yeah, we're just gonna catch up with the boys. It's been a while, like Judd said, and um, really this episode is about the comeback of Judd. So you know, just just tell us about your life, man. I had a big boy job over the summer. Um, a big boy there. job. <laughs> yeah, like I'm it was legit with the actual company and stuff. So like what were no, you doing though? Good, like bro. were you getting Love coffee it. or like were you like no, no, like commercial real estate so numbers? I, I was put in charge of creating a spreadsheet of potential properties for a private equity investor to invest in, and he ended up buying a $75 million property from my list. So um that was why I wish I would have gotten commission off of that, which I didn't. Um, so you're still broke, huh? <laughs> oh, I, it's funny you say that because I almost that couldn't pay funny. my credit card this month. Almost couldn't pay my credit card. Let's, Are you in charge of paying that? It? Yeah, I have like let's, $100. Let's, in the bank account. Can we talk about this, though? Did you get cut off by your mom and dad after the tattoo? Yes. Temporarily, yeah. You really did? Yeah, I did. My mom didn't talk to me for like a month. After the tattoo, really? no more money. Yeah, I got another one. Yeah, we, we even knew that one. That's crazy. So you're, you're on your own now. Rent's Boy, not cheap. Like How much are you they paying for rent? They got you though, or or what? Huh? They got you, or are you are you on your own? Yeah, they got me. I mean, I can't have a job during season and school and all that. Okay, so you're not completely cut off. No, no. They help what me are you in charge of then? 
uh, they give me rent money and I allocate that. Okay. So I get 900 bucks a month, 800, something of that goes to rent and the rest I get to keep. But like, like you just said, you couldn't pay your credit card. So yeah, I pay my credit card. You pay it out of your own pocket. Yeah. But how do you get money though is what I'm saying. From that money left over. We're going to pop up a, a GoFundMe for Judson Burns. Um, I'm going to need No, it. I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. Um, Actually, no, you know what you though. did? Was transitioning to our, into our advertisement that we got. You know where he lost all his money when he was betting? And y'all, y'all know where yeah. y'all can put in a good bet? BET Online. Yeah, BET. Y'all can't lie. I transitioned into that way too smooth. BET Online. That is. Y'all need yeah. to go. Put in y'all's bets. Yeah, I did lose a lot of money betting. Um, and I'm about to lose it all again because I didn't know we were sponsored by BET Online. So that's great. So BET Online, go now to, and use your mobile device to sign up today to receive your 100% welcome bonus. That's double your initial deposit just for signing up. Don't forget to use the promo code that the chums gave you. Don't forget it. NFL 100 for your 100% uh, welcome bonus. And yeah, I mean, now we know how Jetson's going to use the rest of his money, of course. But, you know, you yeah, got to put your money be- somewhere. Yeah, I will be utilizing that promo code. I will be utilizing BET online, and I'm about to be a millionaire. And yo, yo, what if we, what if we came up with a segment? Because we know Judd's addicted to betting. What if we came up with a segment of Judd's like picks of the week, where he says like three, three locks of the week, where he's like, boom, this is where you need to put your money. This is what's gonna happen. This team's gonna win, lose, or whatever. I know nothing about betting. I don't know about you, Tanner. Do you know about betting? Yeah, I know about betting. Like let's when say, they say, like, let's under, say you put on. 2.5 or whatever. I have no idea what that means, bro. Like the parlay. <laughs> we'll put a parlay up of Champions League next. No, the next uh, when they play again. NFL Judd will put up his. Yeah, but NFL is boring. We'll put yeah, up. Uh, there's a lot of bets you can do with the NFL. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of bets you can do with anything. Yeah, but NFL. Okay. This man was so down so, bad. Remember when he was betting on Madden games? Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness, Judd. <laughs> Your parents should have cut you off after that, bro. Your parents should have cut you. That was degenerate. Bro, by the way, if you're so broke, how do you have a girlfriend, bro? Uh, we do cheap stuff. Like, give us an example. Give an example well, to the audience to broke – because our audience is younger people, so possibly they don't have as much money. So what can they do to take out their girl? What do you do? Well, actually, I did kind of overstep my boundaries and spend way too much money going to the aquarium with her because I thought the aquarium was cheap, but it's not. Anyway, what you can do as an alternative is just little things, you know, tell her how much you care about her, maybe cook her dinner like pasta. That's very cheap. And really just what is going on, bro? Let's talk about this, bro. If you're with the right person, just quality time is enough. You don't have to do extravagant dates. You don't have to do extravagant. Okay. Okay. You can just have judge, 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 good, judge. solid quality time. I agree. Let's, let's hear this love story. <laughs> let's hear this love story. Okay. Kind of started last year. Saw her in the training room. I was like, dang. Just the golfer. Oh. oh. Soccer player. Soccer player. Uh, okay. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to pursue this because it's COVID. That's going to be kind of weird. It's going to be hard. And her team was like played with COVID and all that. Anyway, saw her in the training room. This year, saw her at a pool party, made my move, and it was sick. What was the move looking like? Let's do, let's do a little scenario. Well, you know, okay, yeah. So she was kind of checking me out a little bit, and I noticed. I was like, okay, maybe. She was I checking can... out the, the tattoo, the new one? No, she, just me because uh, how sexy uh, I am. And then, were you shirtless? I was shirtless, yes. Okay. She, was checking out, she was checking out the tattoo, okay? She no, definitely was. I, no. But anyway, I started flirting with her a little bit, and then I pretended I was scared of deep water and needed her help swimming in it. So she helped me swim, and I gave her my cowboy hat, which is what that means, you know. And then that led to me seeing her at another party. We went dancing. Then we went to the rodeo, went dancing, and it's just history from there. All right, well, let me, let me pull up a picture I got real quick. Is this like your other girlfriends, or is this different, Judd? This is different, dude. Yeah. Yeah, She. I introduced for, her to my parents the other night. Whoa. They like her. For rest, oh, for all the fans out there, for reference, um, back like, in the academy, back in the academy, Judd, um, he had a girlfriend, and he would come in one day and be like, yeah, she's the best girl ever. Uh, 
Well, let me back it up a bit, actually. In the academy, before Judd had a girlfriend, he's like, I would never be with a girl. Like, uh, I don't think I could ever marry somebody. Like, I don't know. I just couldn't do it. I, I've never experienced love. All right, that's cool. Fair. Eventually, you'll do it. But all right. Like a month later, Judd, I'm in love with this chick. Like, she's amazing. I never said Everything I was in I love want. with her. I really, really yeah, like he her. Did. Like, yeah, he did. Yeah, you did. Bro, he, he we were in your corner. The people can, can never take it from us that. because we were the ones who heard you every morning. Every morning. I never every said time that. after the next, The next day. Nah, bro. I don't know what's going on. Like, I hate her. She's the... I don't know why I'm with her. This, this She's is, the this, worst. This, this the is next day. At this point. The next day. <laughs> No, no, no. We're all good. Like we're we're the best. Like we're she's so amazing. Like whatever. This is this is how Judd was in the relationship. So I hope the girl out there, if you're listening, I don't know what what your name is. I don't know what you. What's her like. name? Can you, you release are. the name or no? Do you prefer not to? Let's keep that under wraps for now. Okay, that's fine. I really I hope that, that, media, you will that see this her. is different. You posted her. I did. Okay. So well, I haven't seen that. Name? I haven't seen that. So this question not is not on valid. Instagram. Not on Instagram. Okay. Have you posted her on Snapchat? If you're smart, you can go through my Instagram comments and figure out who she is. That's what you meant. Yeah. So you, okay. But this is this this question is still valid. Okay. So how long have you been with her, real quick? Well, it's kind of. I mean, I knew her last year, and then like <laughs> we were kind of like three, four months. Okay, three, four months. So maybe that's kind of like deep. June. Officially I mean, dating. Officially dating for like a month. Four months is like we'll say like June. Right. So this picture is July 17th. And I just I just want to like make sure that this is your girl right here. Okay. Is that your girl? Yeah. Was, yeah. That is your girl. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I see that. Safe. You're very safe. That's not a very good picture of us. That's safe then, because from what I heard, you were at the club with a girl. And I don't think that girl was your girlfriend. I heard a story that you were at a club with a girl. And um you showed up to the club with her, but oh, is this from Mario? But I heard that she was not very happy because you started flirting with another girl in the club and dancing with another girl in the club, and you gave that girl your cowboy hat or something like that. I think. No. So, so you hand so, out the cowboy hat to everybody, or what's going no, on? No, I don't. The cowboy that, hat is kind of like a community gift, you know? No, it's, it's not. Fun. That's not it at all. <laughs> Only two girls have ever worn my cowboy hat. Hmm. So it's not special because it's two girls. No, the other one. I'll, no, the other one. I was. We're not putting that in. <laughs> okay. No, but seriously. So you're loyal then. Oh, one hundred percent. Okay. Okay. No, I respect. She's redhead. Yes. Wow, that's actually interesting. That really is interesting. I think. Um, now let's get to the juicy parts, Judd. What's going on on the field, Judd? Not playing. I got fourteen minutes. The other not. But y'all are What's good, going no? On? That's great. Yeah, we're good. Are y'all ranked? What's going on, though? Yeah, we're ranked. We went from 8 to 18, though. What? Bro, I was surprised, actually, because you said Brandon Trevegi was supposed to leave. Didn't he get drafted? He was. Yeah, and then now he's back playing. So we have two seniors in the back line. I'm in the middle of transitioning from center back to wing back. Um, so trying that out. Playing pretty well there. So just grinding every day. You like it. Why I is center like laughing is my, is my thing. Because Tanner's old, dude. <laughs> no, I can see you as a wing back, though. You're a right back, right wing back. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm too, uh, I think I'm too short center back. There are no limits here, man. All right. There are no limits. The only limits you have are the limits you put on yourself, Judson. All right. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You're a good center back. All right. Besides, how much taller is Cervegi or a random center back than you? A couple inches? Just work on your vert, bro. Right? Get your, get your is killing me there, man, because he's just smiling the whole time. Like, he doesn't take you seriously, man. Like, I'm trying to motivate you. He's just killing me, man. I'm like, fine. I'm motivated. He's taking we're the piss to, with you. Like, we're going to Philly tomorrow. Dude, I just I just don't know, bro. Like, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like, when when have you ever crossed the ball in your life? Dude, you haven't seen me playing like in forever. Um, no, but I, I played with you I'm for three back. years. My long balls are so good. I believe really? that. I actually believe that because that's all video. they do in college, bro. I'll send you a video. Okay. If you have ESPN oh, Plus, well. you, can post a, you can post a clip. I hit a long ball in the game. 
You can. I have ESPN plus. I have ESPN plus. Or go check out Stanford or not Stanford. SMU versus Incarnate Word, and you will see my long ball. Well, give me the minute, and I'll. I promise I'll find it. If you give me the minute, I'll go in there and I'll find the it. Last fourteen. <laughs> hey, who else do I know from there? Harvey Castro plays there, right? Yep. Shout out Harvey. Who else? <clears throat> but but you're gonna get your shot. Then that means because if the two seniors are leaving. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I'm, but when 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 they leave, will they push you back to center back? Do you think? No idea. Long for the ride. Oh, bro, I was going to ask. Do you still have the Audi? Yeah. When Yo, Tim, what's up with you, my boy? Uh, Mike's, my, my, my agent told me you were getting arranged. Is that true? We'll see. Hey, you might need a boat in freaking Venice. We got it That'd coming. Sick. Hey, you've been enjoying the life, huh? I saw it. Was it yesterday on your Instagram story? Late at night? A little boat ride? Yeah, man. Bro, t- bro, tell me what you did with Thomas. Nice. That looks fun, bro. What did y'all do? We're gonna talk about that. Should we talk about an hour? Should I talk about it if we get to the casino? Oh, we got to get him on though. Let's talk about it. Yeah, we'll have to leave a like and comment if you want us to get Thomas and Brian on. We can talk about what we did in Venice VIP episode just for y'all. That looked fun, but I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Thomas and Brian were getting fitted for for suits and stuff. I was like, "Ah." wait, actually, was John Luca there too? Yeah. Ah, okay. I'm chat alone. Hey, me, me and John Luca, we 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 chilling, bro. John Luca's a cool dude. We've been getting, I say we've been getting along pretty well. Um, we live in the same apartment complex. Me, J- uh, John Luca, and our our other teammate Dan Hamans from Belgium. Us three men were uh, we're pretty tight. Not gonna lie, and uh, we do a yeah. lot of things together. It's been really good, man. It's been really good. It's been really fun. Venice is different, bro. It's uh. I don't even know how to describe it, man. It's it's uh the city of water. It's uh it's a movie, bro. Bro, it's like it's like living it like you're like living like not Paris, but you know it's like we're living in one of those cities. Like yeah, it's just like a movie city. though, because like even the the night ride on the boat is like I'm telling you, like a hundred percent. I'm telling you, it's like you're riding. Uh, it's a small world in in Disney, or like you're riding the the Pirates of Caribbean one where you're you're going through, and it's like. It just looks like there's like a building and then there's a wall behind it. Like it's not like it just is it's unreal to think that it's like you're literally just in the middle of this city that's all on water. I know what you mean. Like it doesn't seem real. Like you look and you're like, it seems like I'm I'm in a building and it's I'm in a ride, like it's not real, but it's just this is their life, bro. It's crazy. That's crazy. Is flooding ever a concern? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's last year they had major floods, like a foot and a half everywhere water um when the tide gets high is when they have problems so it's it's not like when it rains it, it floods it's like it's when the tide gets high yeah is right. your apartment high up or you no, live on the mainland I in, yeah i live in the mainland okay. so i'm i'm chilling you're chilling yeah okay. the problem how is, much is yeah. the commute how much is the commute to training yeah so training's on the mainland as well so that's the main reason all of us stay in the mainland is because if we are in venice then it's like 30 minutes or 20 minutes to get to training every day, but you have to walk a lot too. So like, say you live a five minute walk into Venice. Um, that means every day you have to walk five minutes to your car and then go, but Venice is 40 minutes, deep walk, 50 minute deep walk. So if you live anywhere in, in there, that's 20, 15 minute walk to the front, then you have to walk or get a boat taxi or ride the, the bus boat every day. And I mean, that's, it's tough. Uh, it's tough. It's, it's definitely something you don't want to do if you're if you're new you know like if i was here for maybe two years and you know i want to try to live in venice you know i'm here it's a it's an opportunity of a lifetime then maybe i'll go live in venice for you know six months whatever but coming here brand new it's just not the move because training is on the uh in the mainland every day and then once a once a every every other week we play at our home stadium where you have to get to venice and then you know it's a problem the one night but the team helps you figure it out and it's not a problem, but, uh, dude, it's sick. Even, even the, in the city I am in, it's like a five minute drive to Venice. And we know, uh, we have a good connections with the parking deck people there. So I pull up whenever I want, I'll have to make reservations like, uh, like most people do. So I pull up park, walk in, go, uh, found a few good spots at restaurants. So when y'all boys come, I got, I got us, I got us, uh, settled, um, making friends as well. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely different. Like people, people understand like 
who you are and if if they don't know who you are i mean they understand like they're like why is this american guy in venice and then they kind of put one and two together and and they remember you and then you you show love and you make good friends and then you have a connection not doesn't mean you receive things or you know get perks it's just nice people li- that live here so it's it's That's been really good yeah. do you know any italian or are you learning italian yeah i actually had my uh i say first uh italian lesson today but i mean i've i downloaded this app and i've been doing it pretty much every day so a little bit of uh, duolingo rosetta stone action yeah exactly brother you know the vibe i know the vibe I'll bet Bro, is there I'll like bet. is there like a word that they use like so much like to curse or anything if they like you know you know what i mean <laughs> yeah i mean porco dia is like a, a big like their biggest i guess cuss word but i don't i don't know what it means like it literally means like <laughs> pig of god or something if you direct translate it but do they do this they more do like hold on let me show you they'll go like they'll put their hands like this and be like close to them like this like it's not like a like a this it's like closer and they'll be like why you you know Nice. yeah i guess so dude. i think i'd fit in well in italy i'll tell you one thing craziest craziest thing about being here not craziest but uh in dallas you do we do the body fat the bmi the the muscle everything every day right here we haven't done it as much we did it today um i ordered a scale like a scale you stand on that it's meant to tell you bmi because i like to keep track of it but i'm telling you in dallas i was looking fit like i had you know, I had muscular tone, looking good. Came over here. I've had pasta for <laughs> 90 days on and off. And it's like, I feel super fit. We run a ton. We work out a ton, like I'm way more than we did in Dallas. But it's like, I don't look the same, you know? Like, I, I know still, what you mean, like brother. I, you got, you got I'm a lot still, of I'm still, you. yeah, I know. I'm still like, I'm, I, I'm still in good shape. Like, don't, I'm not like, I'm not saying I'm fat, but I, I can see the difference, like just a little bit. Like, it's not like, you know, crazy difference. I'm just like, cause I'm really, I've been eating really healthy here. Like really like healthier than I've ever eaten before. And I'm like, why am I? And then I remember we have pasta every day, pasta, bread, pasta, bread, pasta, bread. So I've been, I've been cutting out the pasta a little bit and it's like impossible. Cause the pasta is unreal here, like unreal. So oh. it's like, it's hard, bro. I just want to to try the pasta, bro. It's, oh my God. Dude. If I already love pasta, I can't imagine how good it is in Italy, bro. And I'll tell you one thing, John and Judd, since we're, you know, the taco bros that went to the place, that is one thing I miss more than anything is, is Mexican food. Bro, really? John, you, I promise you, John, if you came here and you went to this Mexican place I went to, you would, you would kill all You'd the You'd want to burn it. You'd want to you burn it. You would burn it down. Bro, I ordered a burrito. And it came with chili as the meat and the burrito. Chili. Like, like a taco the chili. Bell burrito. Like chili with beans, uh, corn. He's going to no, throw up. Like, Johan's going to throw up right now. Bro. Like the, the you know, the, the corn you put in salad, like the long, the longer one, the long orange one, that corn. No salsa, none. No salsa. I can't find Valentina anywhere. I've been to every store. No <laughs> Valentina. Valentina sounds Italian. You'd think they'd have it. Bro, it's unreal. It's unreal. Biggest shame here about being here for real is no Mexican food. Oh, don't even get me started. I went to a Mexican restaurant here with my parents. No, I don't even want to get into it, bro. My dad Dude. was so... <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> nah, bro. Because, like, one of our players, Dennis Johnson, the guy that played at Ajax, he's a winger now uh, for us. He's like, yeah, I do taco Friday every Friday. And I was like, really? And he's like, yeah, dude, I cook the best Mexican. I was like, you've never even had a real taco? You've never even had a real taco? Frogs. How can you know how to? I'm like, you don't even, I mean, you, for one, if you've never been to Mexico and got a street taco, you have no idea what you're talking about. Maybe a few places in, in America that are street tacos, maybe some of them are valid. But like a, a Mexican street taco, I mean, you just. Yeah. I feel you like Italians. Complain. I feel like Italians are wannabe Mexicans almost. <laughs> That's so wrong, yeah. Jed. That's yeah, so far like, from we'll being right. They're, 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 on, they're, they're on the same. Spectrum. That's a hot take. We'll say it's a hot. That take. A hot That's take. a hot take. Let's do some more hot takes, Jed. Yeah. Um. Let's see. It's another hot take I have. Oh, bro, wait, wait. wait before, who, before, who, who Jack, you think about that. But, bro, okay. is, has your girl gone? To, to Italy yet, or is she planning to go? Somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she's been um, already. She's been. Uh, she came for a little bit. It was a. Uh, it was so nice having her here. 
Um, wow, it was so nice. Hopefully she comes back soon. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Um, trying to work it out uh, when she can come back. But yeah, it was it was nice. She she enjoyed it. She she loved uh, Venice, but Mestre, um, the place where I live, it's nothing special. But it's it's just close to to Venice. So, so what's so? it like, bro? Jeff, what's it like literally going to school in in Dallas, bro? You know, it's crazy because you know, growing up, we live far from Dallas and stuff, and like you'd only go to Dallas for like Mavs games or stars games and stuff like that so like going to dallas growing up was a huge deal and now i'm like living here like if i drive five minutes off campus i'm riding downtown and it's just kind of like that shell shock factor like wow i'm actually in a huge city right now and and there's so much stuff to do and and it's like impossible to be bored here do you go out and do stuff a lot in down because yeah, I swear well, I never went to downtown. Like I lived there. Now that we're, uh, <laughs> I never went to downtown Dallas ever. Downtown's sick, but uh, I mean, now it's season in the middle of season and school and all that. It's really hard to, to do stuff. So I'm basically just grinding school, soccer, and then I go home and go to sleep. Um, but in the summer we do get out quite a bit and go explore. And there's a lake not far and go out to like clubs and and bars and stuff like that. But it, it's a really cool city. Um, I didn't know. I used to like be like, "Oh, Dallas! All you can do is watch the maps there and and stuff like that." But there's there's a lot yeah. more. They have the aquarium, like some big old garden thing, a lot of concerts. Um, oh, what's that? The arbor, the arbitrarium, the garden yeah. thing you're talking about? Yeah, arboretum, arboretum. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I've been there. That that's a good cheap yeah. idea, gentlemen. That's free. Um, the aquarium. The one yeah. you're talking about, it's like a, it's like a zoo though. It's not an yeah, aquarium. It's, it's crazy. I didn't oh, know I've been there. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I've been went, there. It's sick. It's it's yeah. like you're in the middle of a rainforest, and it's kind no, of that one's deep. actually dope. Got lost a couple times. No, that one's actually dope though. It is sick, but it's kind of expensive. So, did not know that. Oh wait, I know what you're talking about. You know what? The, what like all the levels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like, like layers. Look out, and it's like a bunch of trees and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know that one. That one is sick. It's I, not, yeah. It's, what are they it's, it's, it's like open. open. It's like open. There's it's like open. monkeys and stuff swinging around everywhere. And like birds are snowing you. It's, it's crazy. Bro, I remember. Bro, you just unlocked the memory I forgot I had. That, I thought that was in yeah. my dreams, bro. Dude, no, I could talk about it. I've been so tired recently because of all like exams and studying. I've been in the library until like one some nights. And it's just like, it's, it's a struggle, man. I'm so fatigued and it's, it's hard to keep going. You know, sometimes you just hit a wall. I wish I had a product or something. To, to well, help. good news for you. Jared, oh, really? We got a, we got a product Whoa. just for you. It's for athletes. It's a pH balancing alkaline drink. It's called Balance 7. Can you believe that? Lamar Odom yeah. uses it, actually. And they actually were kind enough to give our customers, our, um, our audience, a code just for them. So just use Believe, B-L-E-A-V, at balance7.com. And you can get that's that spells believe or believe. <laughs> You're such a shit. B L A V E. That's the name. That's how they. That's how they spell the 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 company. Our podcast company. <laughs> oh, believe. code believe. Yeah, code believe. B L E A V. For ten dollars off your thirty-two ounce bottle. You already know how it is. Balance7.com. Now let's get into the rest of the episode because we, we're just kind of getting into it. Nah, bro, but seriously, 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 I don't know about y'all, but I know in Germany compared to Dallas, and you were telling me y'all have been having two days, Tanner. Bro, like here, yeah. we have two days a lot too, bro. It's tiring, bro. It's tiring, like for real, for real. And I don't know about you, Tan, but like people be getting mad at me when I don't like text back and stuff. But bro, I swear, like, I don't know if you feel this yet, but it takes like energy to text back, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? It's like, different. I just don't like, feel like... Back. Like, I just don't feel like, you know, like, you know, like at night, you just want to like, just chill to yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, because like, like <laughs> he's getting mad at you for not texting back. Yo, I know john has got a girl, bro. This shit's crazy. This. Let's I don't have this a girl. Let's That's unwrap so this. Who's getting mad at you that you're not texting back? My friends. Yeah. Your friends. Judd, you get mad when I don't text you back? No, because you're my friend, and I know we're always going to So what's going on, Jed? What's going on, John? Crazy. I need to relax, bro. Um, no, but, like, what's the dream after school? Like, what's the, what's well, the goal? Well, you know, ideally I, ideally, I would like to 
run the ranch. We're getting ready to incorporate it here in the next two years. And I would like to be um, in charge of that and run that operation out there. And then also have a, maybe this job I worked for over the summer return there. Um, law school is a possibility, um, depending on how, how well my classes go and, and where I'm looking on that. And I might be a grad assistant here for SMU. I mean, I have that door open. So it's, it's a lot of possibilities that can happen here. It's just, it's just a matter of what happens in these next years. And, in which way I, uh, which way I kind of swing and feel most comfortable in whatever, whatever place I'm at in my life at that moment is going to dictate on what I do. So it's safe to say that you're done with soccer after these next two years. Yeah. I mean, I might take my grad year. I might go, uh, play for my last, might be a grad student somewhere. Um, but right now I'm kind of focusing on, I've kind of realized that you know, the soccer, you two have made it in the soccer world. So it's kind of hard as a junior right now. So I'm, I'm looking for other possibilities, plan B's, if you will, um, just so I can secure my future. Cause I would like a family one day and, and to do that and to take care of them. And I'm not sure. You'd I can like a family with, with your current girlfriend. Um, that's a loaded question, Johan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. We have, we have time. Man. Yeah, now, now we're going to get on me. Is this going to be in the episode or can I be up front? It's up you to can't you, be man. a front. You can be a front. You can't be a front for the chums. For the chums. For the I can be a front for the chums. I just don't want it posted. But why? Exactly. It's, it's the same. Th- she knows. She knows. You've been together for one month. <laughs> don't take You've been like for that, one Tanner. month, bro. Yeah, bro he no. said officially Tanner's, been together for one month. Tanner's taking the piss, bro. One month, bro. That's clownery, Judd. bro. Judd, what'd you say earlier? I will just you say said that, going, but one month isn't well. valid for any deep conversation, bro. That's yeah, what I'm exactly. saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. She, he should be upfront about that's, it. And then, I, can, I, I mean, what's she going to say? I think, it's, I think it's going extremely well and she makes me really happy. So, yeah, so but you're obviously her. not going to say, like, you want to get a wife or you want to have kids with her. Like, it's one month, bro. You can just say straight up that you, you don't know yet. I don't, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm yeah, extremely exactly. happy right now and I do see a, a, a long term future with her. Um, so. Yeah, or she wouldn't be with her. Yeah, you, I don't date. So if Kylie Jenner date. walked up to you right now and you were locked in, I don't with think Kylie, Kylie Jenner is attractive. <laughs> <laughs> this guy Joan is always talking about these girls walking up to him. Like, imagine Madison Beer walks in and what would you do? I've never ever said that, bro. You're such a clown, bro. I've never said that. It's the first time I've said that. It's a hypothetical, bro. You have to be. You have to be ready. Like in a future, if Judd gets no. famous, bro. The Met Gala, bro. If Judd uh, went to the gala and, and all of a sudden Kylie Jenner is there and it's like, yo, Judd. It was good with you, and then yeah, all I got of a, I got a would you rather I got a wife. You. Well, first, my girlfriend would be there with me. Bravo. But no, no, no. Meg Gala is strictly invitation only, though. You know, well, you can't bring plus one. Plus one. And then Judd would say, "I'm not coming unless you're coming." Exactly. And then they'd say, "Oh, we need you here, Judd, because you're so famous and so important, and we love you." Um, because so, you're the president yeah. of the United States, obviously. Because I am the president. Yeah. What y'all? Fair what enough. y'all really saying about that dress that said "Tax the Rich"? Kind of a uh, kind of funny. I feel like I can't talk on things I don't know, and I don't feel like I don't. I don't really know. I think it was funny that, that that was worn at a party that celebrates the rich. But uh, on the other hand, though, that could be the whole point of it, so that the rich people see it. What are you, you going to say? Tax the rich at a at a party full of poor people? No, you're just not going to go to the party because you spent hell of money going there. But it's like a choice to wear the dress, you know. But also the Met Gala, like it's invitation. Like, like John, you get invited, you're gonna go. Like John, if it was like, <sighs> I don't even know how to, exp- I don't even know how to describe it. But like, if you was fun. like, if you was like rich though, you wouldn't be like, yo, t- I want to get taxed, you know? Wait, do you know who wore the dress? Well, I don't. There? Yeah, it was. It was AOC. She's not really rich. Yeah. I mean, you got the tickets. It's thirty k a ticket, yeah. bro. Under fifty k for the table. That's one hundred eighty k. You pay thirty k. One hundred eighty k with the table. I mean, get invited and then you pay thirty (laughs) k. I mean, politicians are rich to normal people, but they're not rich to like the billionaires that are there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Congress makes six figs. If y'all didn't know. Yeah, they do. But bro, don't even clown, bro. Lewis Hamilton bought a hundred. Look at this fool, Judd, bro. What? Did you really want to be president, huh? No, I'm just saying I could. If the opportunity came, would you run? Yeah. Why That's not? a long process. It's not just like mm, the opportunity. Yeah, I, I can't president. afford a campaign. Hmm. 
<laughs> the opportunity I mean, goes to be president. Let me, be pre- let me decide to be president. You definitely got to, like, this. it's like a long process that you got to decide. That's what yeah, Trump did. Trump. He was an Trump actor, always- bro. He said, uh. But he was funny. Or not funny. He was rich. Who said you're not going to be rich? I am going to be rich. Are you manifesting that right now? Yeah, I'd like to manifest. So what's the new goal then, Judd? Because we talked about goals when we were first here, when you were at Clemson, maybe when you moved to SMU, we had new goals. But what's the goals now? Um, well, still want to play. So work my way into starting lineup. If that doesn't happen, then focus on life after school and locking down the job and, you know, in a house, all that. Yeah. Running the ranch, incorporate it. So you definitely want to – so say, uh, hypothetical speaking, say next year – or you finish this year, then next year, senior you graduate, where are you going to live? Um, probably where do you want to live, and then where will you actually live? Uh, I don't want to leave Texas. Okay. Um, so stay here. It's, I mean, it's kind of hard to say. Depend. I don't know if I'm gonna have a job out of college, get a signing bonus, probably in an apartment. Do you see yourself moving back in with your parents? No. Like no matter what, never. Well, if I'm falling down on hard times, which I don't think I will, um, then yeah. So what is your status right now, like, in terms of saving? And, like, are you able to save anything or, like, how's no, it going? No, I have a very unhealthy habit of spending money. That's what I figured. Yeah. That's what I was asking you. No, I, I, I don't I don't okay, well, you buy dumb stuff, though. But, yeah, dude. Um, but, I don't know, dude. Just ask. Get a job. I mean, I, I work during summers and winters and whenever I can. But I think, I think too, like, once you uh, – say like once you graduate and you, and you and you hang up the boots like you'll have so much time like you could run two exactly. jobs or whatever like job you net, have you'll, you'll kill and it and, and all exactly that's what yeah like this summer like that's all i did is work and you I, just got to promise the chums one thing brother what's the promise you can't be getting fat bro no no i'm not gonna get fat I will you gotta stay, you gotta you gotta play at least some soccer or something. That's it. My genes don't. I mean, I don't have my dad's genes, so I'm not gonna be fat. I mean, you, you gotta call your dad fat. You know, he's not skinny. Thank you guys so much yeah. for watching. Welcome back for Justin. We had so much fun. Yeah, I have no idea how happy I am, man. I love these guys. These are my best friends for life. Seriously, um, I can't wait to see them in person again. Really, but thank you guys. I can't wait to meet y'all guys in the future. Hopefully, maybe we can get a meet and greet or something. We're a little bit bigger, but we love y'all. Thank you to our sponsors. BT Online is powered by BT Online, I believe. We love y'all so much. Like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to find your own success. Deuces.